Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Brita. Is it good? Are you having fun? I'm having fun. Oh, okay. She's supposed to be doing this. Are you interviewing Sorry. me? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, go Hi. on. Go on. Let's Hi. See what's you. going on? What are you wearing tonight, Brita? This is Julia Dumani. Oh, you look spectacular. Thank you. My stylist, Ali Levine, put me in it. Oh, she's tremendously talented. What are you wearing this evening? Um, I'm wearing Nikes, first off, because... Yeah. Because I was gonna wear some like proper grown up leather dress shoes and they were just way too painful. I have now a, you can like play, now I can dance like, and I can play some like I can do that. It was really bad dancing. Yeah, exactly. If I have to, I have to. Oh, if I have to, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I have a, I have a brand new found respect for women wearing heels. Like how do you how do you do it? My shoes were filling up with blood the, for the first five minutes. I was oh wearing I was wearing those. They weren't That's really. Like, I'm just being dramatic. Yeah, first date was Hellraiser to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back so to, we're at back the Critics' show. Choice Awards. Hi, <laughs> yes, we're and we're happy to be here. What is the uh, best criticism that you guys have gotten on the show? I don't know if we've gotten um, good criticism. We've gotten great reviews, though. No, no, there's a really good one. Uh, Bright Ideas Magazine did this, like, rigorous... Uh, uh, feminist theory like breakdown Ooh. of uh, exactly what it meant to build up stereotypes break them down and like there's been some highly academic <laughs> uh, stupendous okay. um, reviews of the show that are like I'm getting taught by reading <laughs> how does that make you feel like when you read that what did that make you feel like it makes me I think it's a a, a show of how smart Sarah Shapiro and I, Marty Knox are I couldn't agree they more. built a prism and to watch uh uh, reviewers unpack it is so fun. That's very true. The fact that we can t pass the Bendel test with flying colors is uh, is extraordinary and something really, really rare in, in television and film these days. Yeah. And Marty Noxon is also up for a nomination tonight. How does it feel to have so many nominations going on at the same time? I mean, you have so many of your co-stars and the creator and everyone is here. I think it's about um, having different voices out there. I think uh, you know if you if you prism the if you if you funnel all of the voices and all of the stories through the white male perspective, mm. you're gonna get the same story over and over again. I think these nominations for Unreal and uh, Transparent and all of these things are showing that uh, it's time that people hear about from somebody else. <laughs> we want to hear from different people, and if you let people be heard, then you. You, you get more uh, dynamic, diverse, interesting Absolutely. programming. I mean, I feel I feel like in order to accurately depict, you know, the broad spectrum of humanity to cover every color of the rainbow, we have to be more inclusive about the stories that we are telling. You know, whether you're black, white, gay, straight. You know, I mean, these there are you know a, a, a endless stories to be told from people from all different perspectives, and I, I feel like Unreal is doing a phenomenal job in accomplishing that. Which is also a really great thing for I think a lot of people to be curious about instead of everyone else giving you all these criticisms and stuff like that do you ever criticize yourself on your own work or do you just oh, I'm what, what do you think is your weakness what do you think you focus on the most I th I study with a woman named Diana Castle um, and a large part of her studying is um, dealing with uh, approval over the importance of story mm. and things like red carpets and uh, wanting people to like you and uh, uh, and you know putting yourself in a pyramid where everyone else is at the top and wanting to do it right and perfectionism uh, where you sort of manage that and know that it's not about the story, so you're actually doing the story. You're, you're, you're creating the link between the viewer and the story. We're the, the passenger for that. So in a way, you kind of have to care about what other people think. You have to control... No, you have to care about the story and what the story yes. is telling people. Yes. So you yes. have to care about that because you're, you know, you're... you're telling it. Yeah. If you tell it wrong, or if you, you have to be careful what story you're telling. Like in Unreal, I'm telling a story about somebody who is uh, under the pressure of uh, <laughs> being a certain gender and being a certain um, sexuality and sexual preference has gone to the extremes to seek out um, a, a paradigm of love that's completely false. And so I can tell that story, or I can tell a story that says, oh, I hope people like yes. me yes. Yes. which is not yeah. which yeah. is 
the, wow. my faith story a little bit. You know, you know. I yeah. feel like there's such importance in, um, in you know, the, the theory of artist as activist. And when you don't follow that, I feel like you're compromising your own integrity and you're not doing the job to, the, to, your, uh, yeah. to the best of your ability. Great. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have an awesome night. Thank you. You're Good fine. night.